Hey everybody, it's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. This video is going to help you use uh, degrees that you can find on your robot. Uh, not only for forward, but to make turning uh, degrees and make it more accurate. Instead of doing so much hit and miss guessing. So I've done a video on this before, but I don't know if I really did the turns. So this is not really about the forwards, but about the turns. So for this year's hydrodynamics, I'm just going to try to get this uh, big water into that fountain. Um, and then I just really want to help you guys uh, on the turns. So if you remember before, um, you know, we can look at the forward on this one. So I'm going to go to port view. I'm going to go up and over to my B motor. could do C because I'm just doing a forward, but then when we get to the turn, it's definitely going to be B. Um, so let's watch this. I back up the robot all the way, far back than I can, so I just always will line this up right. I'm going to be right there, right on the first. And then I'm just going to start to push this and go as far as I need to to make that turn to drop the water in. So I'm going to go ahead and start to push. I'm going to try not to let these wheels slip because if it slips, I'm going to get an incorrect reading. So I'm going to stop right where I need to make my turn. And I can go probably right here so that when I turn, I can just drop that in. So if we look, I got 1,539 degrees. Um, obviously, if you guys are doing rotations, you'll just have to divide that by 360. But we'll keep it on for degrees right there. So I'm going to go over to my laptop. I'm going to put 1539 in. Now let me go ahead now and show you what we're going to do for this turn. Let me walk around this table here. All right. So what I'm going to do is remember 1539. I'm actually just going to exit this. Go back into port view. And then I'm going to be... I don't know how you guys do your turns, but I do my turns with just one motor. So for this right turn, I'm just going to have this B motor uh, turn. So what I'm going to try to do is keep this wheel from turning, which is sometimes hard to do. And I'm just going to get the degrees for this uh, B motor. Let me just show you that it's B. So there's my DC. So this is going to be my B motor. So when I turn, I'll be able to know how many degrees I want that to go. So let me start to turn this wheel. I'm showing you that it will line up. Okay, that's how far I want it to turn. I know you guys can read upside down. So, you know, it's not always perfect, but that's 336 degrees. And then that's pretty good. You know, I won't have to go very far at all to drop this thing so if i let me see if i can drop it now yeah i might have to go forward a little bit to drop that in and then hopefully that drops off and i can make it back to base so let's go to the laptop i'll put in the 1539 and then this three oh that was a 336 and then we'll see how good that uh, forward and turn was. Okay, everybody, I'm on my Lego software. Sorry, I'm just uh, recording this from my phone because it really wasn't enough of the program to uh, do my other recording off the desktop here. So um, there's my forward for 1,539 degrees. And then there's that 339 degree turn with that B motor. So what I want to do is just to, I've already downloaded it to my robot. I just want to go ahead and show you how that's going to look right now on this program. So I set it up in the same spot. Hopefully that's the same spot. And no, I didn't program this to put the water in. I just, this whole video was about getting these turns right. So if it makes the right turn, then we'll know that it worked. Again, knowing that we're going to have to probably tweak something. I, I don't know if it's ever come out perfect, but let's give it a shot. And I slowed it down to 30% uh, speed. So let's see how good or accurate this turn was. So let me come over here. So we lined it up pretty well. 
I mean, you know, if I did go forward, that you know, that could be able to drop that in. So that's just, I mean, you know, that's that was just my first attempt, and it was pretty spot on. So for trying to make that accurate turn, that's all I do, or I tell my teams to do is to just set that motor, you know, turn turn their robot, find out their degrees. So we're just wasting less time trying to figure out, hey, how many degrees is it? Let's try this, let's try this. So right now you can see how this team will spend less time guessing for the those degrees if we can just use port view on our uh, for the motors to see how far it's supposed to go. So um, hope everything again is going well with your teams. Um, hopefully this helps you guys not have to waste so much time guessing on your time rotations degrees and uh, get let's let you get more done um, in a faster amount of time. All right, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I am out.